but yes. Oh, here's the code. See if it, you need to charge it and turn it on. What do you say for grandma? Thank you. Do you love it? Yes. I went to the library yesterday and I got a whole stack of books. And what we're doing with Arabella's photography is that she's going to go through these books and look for inspiration and learn the techniques with me. And then she gets a project every week. So this week she owes me five creatively angled photography photos. So we'll go out with her today and all weekend and she'll take a bunch of photos and then I'll teach her how to edit throughout the week and she will pick her five favorite angles and then we'll go over them on Saturday. And for Mason, being 15 and a half, I have decided to push him towards um, having finished products. And he is going to be on Skillshare this year, as well as the Acelius app. And on Skillshare, he's gonna be studying animation this year, because he's been doing coding and um, writing computer programs for years. Now he wants to get into animation. Now Hunter, for his extracurriculars, he loves the night sky. So I got him a night sky. This, these are all from the library. All kinds of things that I can say, okay, I want you to go find this in the sky. And he'll take his telescope out here and he will search for those constellations and tell me all about them. Bella loves birds and birds of prey and taking her binoculars out and finding birds. So I got these two for her. And then Ammon loves insects and Mason loves insects. So I got these. Fossils are for dinosaurs. Ammon's obsessed with dinosaurs and insects. They get one hour to read through books during the day. They can have them all day long if they want, but they have to do at least an hour. This is also for Hunter. It's the universe eyewitness. Hunter had a special request because he loves, he's playing a game that has to do with tanks. So he asked for a World War II tank guide. He's already gone through it. He picked this up last night and went through the entire book. Books are language arts. Books are world discovery. Books are so much. Human anatomy, bug anatomy, fossils, geography, geology, all things you can find in books. I suggest you get your kids into books and get them off their tech. They do the power homeschool and they do all of their regular subjects, but then we get their faces out of the computer and we go out and we explore the world. We're moving down to Durango, Colorado, in between Durango and Pagosa Springs, which means we're an hour away from the Mesa Verde National Park, which has all of the cliff dwellings and all of those things. So this 13 weeks, I'll be adding that into our studies. We'll go down there for the weekend, which it's right by where my best friend lives. So we'll stay with them for the weekend and we'll study all about the Mesa Verde cliff dwellings and all of that stuff. Wearing the wrong, the wrong clothes. Ouch, I've got burrs in my shoes. We were gonna go swimming, but it turns out that it is a cloudy, gorgeous, moody day. So Bella's gonna work on her photography. We rode our bikes over here. Let me take a look. Did you get one? Let's take a look. She just said, wait, I have a good idea. The brighter his patches, the more attractive he is to females. This gazebo is singing to us. Bella hates it, so she put in my noise canceling headphones. <laughs> we were very dehydrated, so we went and got electrolytes and water. Your sucker broke and she wanted a Tootsie Pop, something small. A little bit of sugar for a boost of energy. I am at the pool with Bella and doing tons of research on holistic nutrition and becoming a holistic nutritionist. And um, I'm also learning about autoimmune nutrition holistic therapies.
probably see me because it's late at night and Bella and Brandon have been out here looking at the full moon through their binoculars and using their night sky guide to find the constellations. Not many stars out yet, but there will be. Here's the moon. Full moon. There's gonna be a meteor shower on Friday. I'm trying to find my shark. That looks like right now. Love it? Yeah. Yeah. We had a streak. Yeah. Which means a meteor. Daddy's got the telescope. Hammond's eating an this egg thing cup really and needs. you can't see nothing. He's it's making my, my egg cup horrible for me. I literally said just a couple of minutes. My egg cup has to be in the microwave for like a hundred, one minute, 30 seconds, but it are you stopping at halfway? Stop. Working on her editing skills. You want to show me some of your finished pictures real quick? Yeah. I really like that. Oh. And remember how I showed you which one of those up there? Which one of these shows you? Nope. Next one. There you go. Ooh. Now hit the over arrow. There you go. Nice. What about the ones you just finished? Because you got better with every editing job you did. Nice. I like that one. Ooh. That's a little orange. Yeah. That's okay though. Kind of blurry. That one's neat. Very cool, Val. Cool today. I got all the kids at the pool. It's a miracle. But what we're doing is we're talking about waves. Hunter has been making waves for us. We're pretending that Hunter is the epicenter of an earthquake. He is the trimmers, and we're gonna show what it does to this pool. Go ahead, Hunter Bear. Go. Hunter, try to make it bigger. Hunter is our wave maker, and all of the waves are radiating out from Hunter. Creating our tsunami. There you go. Now look, here's your tsunami. It's coming up over the flood walls. There you go. You did it. Yeah, go for it. In Colorado, we're next to an indoor wave pool or something, so we get to go there all the time. That would be fun. It's gorgeous. Okay, Hunter, walk out and go see the planes. Well, you're losing it. Don't touch. I know you want to. That's a bomb? Yeah, that's a fire. Fire retardant. Firebombers in action. Let's watch this. Firebombers. I don't remember that either. Oh yeah. Maybe it's awesome. Maybe it's awesome. Right here. And go here. And up. See it? Sure. Right here. Oh, okay, yeah. What about the other side? Is there so I think it's like an elbow. I think it's an elbow. Dinosaur animal. Okay. And then there's a shell. Nice. I don't know why that's there. And then that. Oh, shell? Like that. I know exactly why that's there. Yeah. There's these little shrimp-like things that burrow into the ground and come right back up. It's like, that's what those little tra things that we thought were tracks are. Oh. Yeah, you, those I little things like. I have a bunch like, of the shells. Yeah, in my pocket. Huh. So what we were seeing weren't tracks. They were just little burrows. Oh, cool. Yeah. And so there. And there's the chef. Yeah, there's the chef. Mm -hmm. But there's no fossils. I don't know if there's any more fossils on here. Can we go yet, Hunter? I'm not going to sit around for 20 minutes to, to miss all of it. It's done. What? It's done. No. I, all I'm going to say it wasn't worth the wait. I'm going to go sit in the shade. Okay, so. We came in over here. We've gone through all of this. We just did this. Now we are right about here and we're going to take a 
right and head up to Norris and over to Upper Falls and Lower Falls.